How's it going guys? We are back with another Skyrim video and this appears to be something that I've never seen anybody else do before. So we are going to be making God followers. Who better to start with than the man, the elf, the one and only I have tormented to no end. Fandal, I'm sorry for sacrificing you to Daedra, shooting arrows in your eyes, throwing you off cliffs, calling you names, and although your hair is stupid and you are stupid, you didn't deserve it. Maybe. So first of all, we're running over to Solitude to get a bunch oh. of crowns for our God oh, followers. Every God follower needs their own crown, and since Fandal's a little stupid retard, he gets the Crabber's Charm for a necklace. Okay. Found these new robes I've never seen before. May as well pick those up. And uh, yeah, Fandal's going to get this little crown with the emeralds, and Saron's going to get the silver crown. Now I'd recommend you have your enchanting and alchemy up. You do not need them to 100 for this, but uh, it would definitely help. And I'm dropping my god outfit. I made this uh, alchemy and smithing outfit in my other god video. If you guys want to make this, just watch that video. But for the purpose of a new video, I'm going to be doing it from scratch. So over here, we're going to need some soul gems. You don't even need grand soul gems to do this ultimately. And for these ingredients, I will have the alternate versions in the description below for anybody who doesn't have the rare Kuros ingredients that can be bought over here just at the stables of Windhelm. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do Fortify Enchanting. And that'll just put us at 30%. Make a couple of those. Okay, so you're going to drink one of these. And then on four pieces, we are going to be fortifying alchemy. So on a, a headpiece, a necklace, a ring, and some gauntlets. 29% better with that potion. Any percent is fine. Seriously, it does not have to be 29%. It could be 5% and this will still work. Okay, so for Fandal's god outfit, I'm going to be making him an ebony set. And a Daedric bow. Okay guys, now these two ingredients can be bought anywhere where alchemy ingredients can be sold. You can get followers to duplicate them, drop them on the ground, pick them up, fast travel away, fast travel back, la la la, same old song and dance. But once you have about 10 or more of those, we're going to get started. So fortify restoration. These two ingredients, make it, quit, save your game, go to potions. Drink the Fortify Restoration Potion, go to Appearance, take on and off those four pieces without exiting the menu. Okay, now we're going to make another one of those. Okay, once again, drink the potion. Take the four pieces on and off. Okay, we're going at it again. Fortify Restoration. One, two. Okay, so I just made one of those. Okay, so here we got 13,000%. That's okay for now. So these ones that I'm going to make are the slightly weaker versions because honestly you don't need 10 plus thousand percent all the time on every piece. So... Just making a couple of those. Now we're going back to potions and we're going to do it one final time. Okay. And this is the final time I'm going to be doing it because this is just overkill 7000 percent stronger enchanting smithing 17000 percent okay so now that we have those made we're good now you're gonna go over to the enchanting table save your game go to potions fortify enchanting 7000 percent so we're gonna drink that and on the chest piece we are going to do Ebony armor and health rate and stamina rate regen. Now that overkill percentage will go down because the restoration effect is still on. So you have to wait an hour or two 
and then the effect will leave you, and then that's the base stats of the armor enchantment. Okay, so it's not 980,000. It's 59,000% faster health and stamina regen. Okay, so this is God Fandal. Once everything's all said and done, you didn't need to see me enchant every piece. But I will show you the enchantments. What do you want me to carry? So I gave him the fire arrows, the ebony armor I showed, the gold helmet, uh, bows do more damage, magic regens faster, gauntlets, more damage from bows, increased magic, boots, carry 71,000 pounds, better at sneaking, necklace, increased health and stamina, and then this bow, 50% chance of each element to do almost 2,500 points of damage. Okay, so we're laughing. It's a strong, strong setup here, guys. So now we're just going to be increasing the weapon damage with our smithing potion. So drink one of those. Go to the wheel. And make everything legendary. The thing about all this gear, guys, is that the enchantments and the damage that you see on these weapons won't actually perfectly translate to what they do on your followers because they don't have the skills you have. So although it's like 50,000% more for you, it's probably a lot less for them. So for Fandal's first test, we're putting up against the Legendary Dragon. Fandal, what the fuck are you doing? What about that Daedric bow I gave you, idiot? You're using the longbow and the Daedric arrows? That'll do it. Great shot, Fandal. Yeah, hit the rock. Fandal... You're embarrassing me in front of my viewers. See this face right here? You know why I look so pissed? Because you're disappointing me, Fandal. You're disappointing me. Well, safe to say you failed your first test, idiot. Just a scratch. Just a scratch, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the weapon, the sword. Let's get going then. Yeah, we're going to get going to your next test. Okay, Fandal, this is how it's going to go. So I'm going to attack him, I'm going to instantly go invisible, and then you are going to finish him off. Got it, bud? Ready? Great, okay, Vandal, let's see what you got. The wooden longbow again. What the hell? You stupid elf. There's a reason I abuse you so much, Vandal, because you're so stupid. Come on, get him! We are on Legendary, by the way. I didn't show it, but this is Legendary. Come on, Fandal. Get him! Well, I mean, Fandal seems to be making a dent. He's halfway. Halfway! Oh, I'm falling! Oh. The Ebony Warrior smacked the sword out of Fandal's hand, so... Hopefully Fandal can recover. I don't know. Get up. Use the Daedric Bow, you idiot. Come on, Fandal. Get him. Oh, my God. Well, Fandal, I'm calling this one a loss. Since you can't stay on your feet. You may not have been killed, but you certainly didn't kill him. So as punishment... I'm taking away all of your weapons. Give me that bow. Give me that sword. Give me those arrows. Loser. Let's get going. Okay, Randall, it's time here. for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. Good. Hey, uh, Vandal, I don't think you can get back to Riverwood walking up the mountain and getting stuck in this little uh, area, you fucking idiot. Okay, guys. Next up, we're coming over here to Riften to get another follower, and this follower has a special place in my heart. Mercurio. He's a good, decent mage follower, that's for sure. What's up, buddy? With a master of magic at your side. You're hired. Have nothing to fear. I'm the true master of magic, you little idiot. Okay, so he is going to get a silver set. Why? No other reason than he's a mage and it looks kind of magey. Okay, no helmet. We got a crown for that. All right, fortify enchanting. Boom, drink that. Make the set. So for his god set, I will show you the stats. I am an apprentice wizard. 
Okay, so he's got Fandal's sword, silver armor, health and stamina, or health and magic regen. Uh, on the crown, increase magic to 120,000 and regen. Increase your health, la la la. Carrying capacity increase, stamina regens faster. And one handed attacks do 600% more damage. I only used the 500% potion for his armor here. So next up, we are coming over to the island of Solstheim, just near the giant mushroom, to talk to Master Neloth. Get some staffs. Why are you out here? Hey, nobody floats up before me, you little fuckhead. I'm the boss. I get to float up first. Neloth, Neloth. A few staffs, if you're interested. Okay, so he will have these unenchanted staffs. My favorite being the Daedric staff and the Ebony staff. Okay, so we're going to buy those. Look at that. And one more, why not? The silver staff, because he's wearing some silver armor. Okay, so um, you can buy the staffs here. There is a staff enchanter here. If you don't have the new anniversary homes, you'll have to use this right here. But lucky for me, I got one in my house. Come on, Mercurio. You may be the first one up. I'm the first one down. Oh! Ah! Okay, so back home, making the staffs. You'll need some hard stones. Okay, so we're going to do staff of incineration, 90 points of damage. So that's the most you're going to get out of these staffs. And we'll do the paralysis for the ebony staff. And for the silver staff, we will do the storm atronaut. Give them all three, and we'll see what he uses. Okay, take all those three staffs, back to the Ebony Warrior. Okay, bud, you know the plan. Ready? Vandal, thought you were going home. What the fuck are you still doing here? Idiot. Okay, Mercurio, get ready. Yeah, fist fight him, Vandal. <laughs> Always rooting for Fandal getting hurt. Well, he's using the staff, so that's good. Fandal's distracting him. Oh, and he used the Atronaut staff. Good job. You're already way better than Fandal. Except you keep hitting me. Get him. Not me, Ebony Warrior. I'm just watching. Fandal's back with the pickaxe. Oh my god. What's new? Come on, Mercurio. You can do it. Let's go. Almost got him halfway, bud. I don't know if the Storm Antronaut's helping or hurting. Seems to be in the way. You almost got him. Yeah. You almost got him. Good job. You did it! Mercurio, success! Okay, next up we are coming into Windhelm. I grabbed Serana. Dark elf refugees will take over this city if we aren't. Hey. Of course. I'm a dark elf. It's all in this note. What watch it. Every night I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Did you not hear me when I said I'm a dark elf? I'm not a gray skin, you racist. Okay, guys, so after you've talked to her, we're coming over here to investigate Trader's Post. And this is to get Serana the best armor possible. I'm gonna throw you under my horse. It's gonna get trampled. Haha. <laughs> they call me the One Punch Man. Need a ring on this body. Oh, there's someone hiding. Ha ha ha. Gotcha, bitch. Serana, you 
rose him from the dead. I need a ring from his body. Looky here. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Come here. I'm gonna put you down. Okay, so you're gonna need the ring off him. And the note off her. Journal, I should say. Okay, so once you've read that, you're going to come over here to get the Daedric set. Just outside the front of Solitude, you can trade the ring or pay $5,000. That is the truth. Give me the suit. Okay, okay, you've talked me into it. Okay, now we have the suit, so we're going to enchant it up. For my dear Serana. Still looking sexy, baby. Damn, you look good. Now. What do you got to trade? You think it'll help? Okay, so I gave Serana the bow, the flaming arrows, health regen and magic regen on the chest piece. I gave her the staff. Same old carrying capacity on the boots and one-handed, two-handed, 52,000% better on the gauntlets and on the crown, all magic. And on the necklace, increase health and magic. So she's a boss. Let's see how she does. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Morning. Okay, Saronic. Oh my god. He gets me every time. Serana, are you okay up there? Come on, Serana. Well, it appears when you give Serana unlimited magic, she will not use weapons. Which is a major downside. Because she just does nothing against him with those spells. Serana, use the sword! Stupid bitch! Oh my god, Serana. You're pulling a Fandal. His Fandal's just laying dead right there. Serana, use the sword! Well, I'm calling this one a failure, guys, because she just will not put the magic away. Okay, next up, we're coming over here to Falkreath. This is to get a new follower, Strictly Anniversary Edition. No fan of the sun. So, be better than this. all you gotta do is come inside the bar, come into the room, and on the right, there will be a journal. Read that. Started the quest, A Dying Wish. Okay, so it's gonna tell you to go over here to the roadside ruins. I'm doing this because I theorize this follower may be one of the best in the game, seeing as it's an anniversary edition one. Okay, so there's going to be an altar here. You get to fill one of these three things. Um, wealth, power, and nothing. So you're going to want to do the altar of nothing. Okay, so once you've done this, you just have to head back into a town. Curry will come up to you. Something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay, so read that note. Okay, it's gonna tell you to find a ferryman. Your skin's as pale as I understand. Now we're going to an island. Get this over with. An island full of some giants. Who's tall now? If only there was a foot stomp button. Okay, so you're gonna come up here, come into this cave. It's gonna be this tree. Gotta harvest the ironwood fruit. Who are you? Time for a spanking. Ha ha ha. Okay, so once you grab that fruit, you can go to any cooking station, make the soup. And now we are headed back to the temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun. Or, yeah, Whiterun. Almost at Windhelm. Welcome, child. Yes? Hey, baby. You've done well. Why haven't I seen you around Whiterun? Thank you. Welcome, More child. rest will do you good. Okay, so you give that soup to her, and then you have to wait one day for him to recover. Need something? Okay, so since he's recovered, you gotta send Serana on her way, unfortunately. And now, this is my god version of him. 
Rolnik, looking good. Let's get going. Okay, this is Rolnik set. So I made uh, this weapon, and I also made a sword version of it. This was just no. The top one was uh, just standard enchantment. I didn't push it with the five thousand or whatever. And then really, yeah, just an all all around good set. Not sure if he used the destruction, but I made it cost nothing to cast on the headpiece. And I made all these one-handed Daedric weapons. And now the test begins! Come on, Rolnik, do something! Rolnik, use the one-handed weapon! Battle of the Titans! Damn. Come on, Rolnik. Get in there. That's the spirit. Come on, get him. Followers don't seem to do as well with two handed weapons. Oh, now yeah, let's fight on the side of the mountain. Come on, Rolnik. Beat him down. Make him tumble down the mountain. It's a stalemate. Oh. And he fell off the side of the cliff. What are you doing? Walk back up. Oh, God. The Ebony Warrior paralyzed me! Down the mountain we go again. Oh! Damn. God, I hate when that happens. Ah! And they're still going at it. Can you guys just finish this already? Christ. Oh my god. Rolnik? You okay, bud? Did you make it through that? Let's see. Oh, he's getting up. You're a champ, bud. You're a champ. Okay, round two. Ebony Warrior, you're not done yet. Oh my god. What is new? Come on, Rolnik. Yeah, good job, bud. You did it. Round two. Get him. Yeah, the one-handed weapons for the followers are definitely the way to go. Beat him down. Ha 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 ha. Get him. All right, that's a success. Good job, guys. Okay, now with the help of mods, we got all three of our god followers. And now we're going to see how they do as a team. Okay, guys. Ready? Teamwork. Vandal, get that fucking pickaxe out of your hand, you idiot. This is intense. Oh, my goodness. First 10 seconds, Vandal. First 10 seconds. Come on, Serana. Put that magic away, bitch. Rolnik, use the mace. Come on, guys. I'm not impressed. Vandal, at least you're using a good sword. Get him. Vandal, you've almost redeemed yourself. Come on, team. Let's go. You almost got him. Good job, Fandal. You redeemed yourself. But at this point, I realize Fandal and the Ebony Warrior have the same voice. Round two. Put him down faster, guys. 
lay this baby down for a nap while he cries. Serana, Rolnik, I'm not impressed with the distance. Pandal, finish it for the team. Oh, he disarmed him. Good thing I gave Fandall more than one weapon. Yeah. And that is it for this video, guys. That is how to get followers to kill the Ebony Warrior on Legendary. I hope you liked it. I got lots coming. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.